Right, Mark, great to see you. I want to start off this pre-match uh, conference with, with a little song, I suppose. <laughs> no, it, no. it goes... Super, super mock, super, come on, super mock, super, super mock, super mocky call. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> what a night, Tuesday night, boys. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your emotions, your feelings, the excitement, the adrenaline. Uh, two goals after 48 seconds, you must have been over the moon. That was a, a brilliant start, um, not just for me, but obviously for the team. We're not had a great away record so far this season, and to get a goal that early in the game, it's Settles everyone doing a bit. I think it's the it's the quickest I've ever scored, and it's, it's it was a nice way to start the, my first start. Yeah. Talk to me. Forty eight seconds gone. Gab Hollahan, left hand side. Your good friend. Uh, what are you thinking when the when he's fired the ball in? And there's obviously the two defenders and the goalkeeper there. Uh, a lot of work to do. But what's going through your mind? When he forced crossed it, I thought, what a terrible cross that is. Because <laughs> when obviously the keeper tried to intercept it, and then once it started ricocheting around, the it's just I would react in quick quicker than the defenders and luckily I managed to do that, swivelled and, and got it in so uh, yeah it was a really pleasing start for, for that game and uh, hopefully we can build on it. Second goal, it's another one of the quick reactions, uh, you know the, the ball's being fired in by Sturry, it's took a deflection uh, and a lot of people might see it just as like a header in the net but like you really have to react quick and get your head round it as well. Yeah it's, uh, that's the kind of thing, you have to, in them positions when you're in between the sticks you've got to be able to react quick because there's a lot of people in front, you know what I mean? It can nick off anyone like it did uh, the other night, and it's just a reaction thing, like you're saying, making sure you're in the right place at the right time, and, and luckily I was. I suppose for you, it's not just the two goals in that game, but it, it feels like it's been a little bit of a long time coming. I, you probably don't make yourself, you might have had one of your more frustrating starts to a season at a club. What's it been like for you, having to sit and wait patiently for your chance? Well, that's it. I've had to just be patient and, and, and wait for the, the, the chance for the gaffer to put me in. Um, it's been frustrating, I'm not gonna lie, because everyone wants to play, you know what I mean? But um, now to, to finally get a start and to start off with a couple of goals, it's, it was a brilliant thing for me personally, as if to, as a confidence boost, really, you know what I mean? No, no, it's something that you think, right, well, I know I can score goals in this team now, and, and hopefully I get more opportunities to try and do that. Uh, we, we spoke about for quite a while when we spoke the gap that we just needed someone to be there, right players, right time, and we spoke about this off commentary, I, I mean, sorry, off the camera, that you. You probably only had nine or ten touches off the whole game, but you've had two touches that have resulted in two goals, and that's fine with you, isn't it? I'd quite happily have two touches and score two <laughs> goals. I get that easily, day me. Um, but no, that's the way I play the game. Maybe it's just, that's what it's about. It's about touches inside the the in your box, and that's where I'm going to get my goals, and that's ultimately where I can help the team. You know what I mean? Fair enough, you can hold the ball up and you can win your headers, and that's that's all good and well, but if if I if I didn't touch the ball inside the box, then it's it's wasted for me, you know. So um, now, like I said, it, it's just I'm just really pleased to finally get off the mark here, and uh, hopefully we can carry on. As a team as well, what a night, what a performance! Having won away from home, Bradford at the time were unbeaten at home. It little, was a little bit of a change of system for us, but I spoke to Nicky Felsen the other day after the game, and he said there was such a vibe and a confidence with the lads before he's even went out that you could get results. Did you feel that as well? Oh no, absolutely. Um, the gaffer had said it before the game. You know, what I mean, to play this, it's a big stadium, a, a big club, um, and from where the team and the club was last season, playing some of the smaller clubs in the conference to then rock up at, at Bradford is is a big change, and you've got to be excited by it, and you've got to want to want to play well and, and, and win. Um, and I think all the lads backed that up in that performance, you know what I mean? I think you could see it, I thought everyone from, from back to front really played their part on Tuesday night and, and it, it was a really good team performance and ultimately a, a good win. How much do you enjoy playing alongside someone else as well? Luke Molyneux really seemed to have a, a good game himself and it really helped you with, with the pressing and the chase and, and it seemed like you, you two worked really comfortable together. Yeah, no, I uh, enjoy playing with Molls, yeah. Um, I see he's a, he's a willing runner, he works hard on the he's, he's very good on the ball as well, you know, so he's a good partner to have up front and there's other lads within the squad as well that they've all got the different attributes, which is just maybe is a good thing, you know what I mean, we've got however many strikers or forward players in the squad, but they all are slightly different in whichever way it is, you know what I mean, and it's just finding them partnerships and being able to play with everyone really, you know what I mean, whoever it could be up there, so... No, it's good. Um, like you said, and I, I, like you said, sorry, I, I think we played well together the other night. What was the feeling in the dressing room after the game? Uh, obviously, the, this 
not winning away, is starting to build a little bit of pressure. Did it almost feel like a little bit of a, a relief, I suppose, uh, when you've come back in, one three one? Absolutely. You know, you know when it, yourself, you, you, people are saying, "Oh, you've not won away, you've not scored in so many games, or whatever it might be." You know, it doesn't matter what it is. It, it builds up and builds up, and then when you finally get that monkey off your back kind of thing, um, it is a relief. Um, but then, no, it's not one of them. Oh, we've done it. No, we can just rest on our laurels kind of thing. I mean, we, we've got to carry on. No, uh, going into to Saturday's game and think, well, our home record's good, let's carry that on, and then next away game, let's build on the Bradford away game, you know, it's not something that you can just sit back on, we've got to keep keep working at it, and, and every game, keep trying to, to be better. You mentioned it there, back at the Vic tomorrow, Harrogate Town, a very good start of the season, but you must be filled with confidence, going to play in front of 5,000 plus poolies, I know you've <coughs> seen it before, but how excited are you, especially after Tuesday night, and how excited is the whole squad to go in and really give Harrogate a good game? Yeah, well, I think the, f the fans that made the trip on, on Tuesday night were, were brilliant, you know what I mean? They really got behind the lads and, and sang pretty much the whole game. Um, sometimes I'll buy, I don't know how many was there Tuesday night, but at 5 fours of them from minute one, hopefully right behind the lads and, and cheering us on. It's, it's what you play football for, you know what I mean? You, 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 you want people to cheer you on and, and get excited by watching you play. Um, so yeah, it'll be an exciting game and, and it should be a good game as well. You've ticked off scoring away from home for Pills now. How buzzing and excited will you be to tick off scoring at home for Pills? Yeah, it'll be nice, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it'll be nice to do that. But uh, yeah, if it comes tomorrow, if it comes next week, whenever the next home game is, it, it'll come when it comes. I just know that I'll, I'll really try my best to, to do my best and try and get some goals. Just finally, as a squad, we've got that away win. We, we've had such an impressive home record. Is this a squad that a lot of people might not have expected to do so well at the beginning of the season, but as a squad, we really feel like we can go and push on now. Yeah, I didn't see why. No, I, I said when I first came through the door to, to some of the lads that we had last season, that League Two is its not a league to be scared of in any way, you know what I mean? That anyone can beat anyone on that day, just how you turn up and, and how you perform each and every game. Um, and I think so far we've we have got a good number of points. We're, we're in a decent position, but there's still so many games left to play and we need to continue to work hard and, and uh, try and keep picking up points throughout the season and for me you, you keep putting runs together like a home record is good if we can put in a way record like a run of games wins together then anything can happen in this league and, and then it definitely I think I know for myself I can't speak for everyone but I don't see why we couldn't have a successful season if we if we carry on the way we are. Mark thanks very much. No worries thank you. Thanks.